Hey, it's Brian here from quantlabs.net. Just wanted to uh, let some people know I've been searching high and low for a good way, um, a reliable way. I, I don't think it's the most uh, ingenious thing, the most fault tolerant uh, way of doing this, but uh, this is the easiest for sure. What we're doing is I've been looking for a way for um, a Java uh, application or project to communicate with a .NET specifically in C Sharp um, and it's basically a client server through uh, socket programming and uh, I've kind of com come across one which is pretty good here at this blog spot um, Faroe's Musings and Technology um, and there's two uh, versions of it uh, I'll provide the links for these. Uh, I'm not going to provide the actual source code for what I'm about to show you, but I'll give you the links to them. It's pretty easy to create um, the projects. But let's first look at the, um, the Visual Studio. Uh, as you can tell, I call it NetSocket. Um, it's the same, exact same source code uh, as what you'll find in those two postings. The only difference is this one's the first version. Uh, and then there is the replaced uh, read method, which is C-sharp. The second uh, implementation um, does a little converting, I believe, on the little Indian versus big Indian, or vice versa, something like that. Anyways, these are the um, the uh, source files, just the one source file. Uh, also, in my Eclipse, this is the Java. Um, and it's the same same idea uh, from those two postings. Uh, it's the first version uh, in the uh, um, yeah main function that I'm replacing, and then I have another version of another implemented uh, main function as well, or uh, sorry, a uh, main method. Um, too much R in MATLAB function talk. Um, so those are the source files uh, for both Java and um, uh, the uh, the um, C sharp. Um, if I go into my command prompt in Windows, um, if you look in here under NetSocket EXE, it's currently running. Uh, so that's the server. This is the C sharp running. Um, and then when I run this project as is um, just do that uh, you'll get uh, this these results so essentially what it's doing it is, is you read it it's sending a, a class um, this class right here uh, sending it over to the C sharp um, and uh, that's pretty well all the inf info that it is sending over populates it and then um, as I said sends it over so uh, let's take a look over on what's happening on the C sharp side. So this is the first uh, instance of it running, uh, and this is the the one I just ran. Uh, it's running running fine. Uh, John Smith to writing data done. Boom.